Hey everybody, this is Austin with Hitchfire. Today we will be unboxing and installing our Forge 15 onto our Tacoma here with a standard two inch receiver. Let's go ahead and get into it. You really don't need a lot of tools for this install. You'll need a box cutter and an adjustable wrench or a socket wrench. Other things you'll need, either two standard one pound propane gas bottles or with our optional add-on hose line, you can use a standard backyard barbecue propane tank. And upon opening our Forge 15 grill, we have a small bag of hardware and our owner's manual. Be sure to take a good look at that. And next we'll be installing our swing arm here for our Forge 15 grill into a standard two inch receiver. For vehicles with a larger rear profile, we do offer a 12 inch hitch extender along with a dual hitch receiver for carrying other hitch accessories. Secure your hitch pin firmly all the way through our receiver and insert your cotter pin through the other side. And now that we have our swing arm installed, it's time to mount our grill. And now that we've mounted our grill to the post, we're going to securely attach it using our quick release clamp. And as an optional security measure, you can lock your grill to your swing arm. And now it's time to deploy our Forge 15. We'll start by disengaging our plunger pin and removing our safety pin here on our slam latch. We'll be locking it out at a 90 right here. It also locks out at a 180 when needed. And for opening our hood, we will be pulling on the bottom of the latch and spinning it counterclockwise to open our grill and we will remove all extra packaging. And now it's time for our initial burn off. Today we'll be hooking up two of our one pound propane tanks or you can use our adapter hose available on the site. And here we're adjusting our air and fuel ratio, which may be needed for certain elevations. And for our initial firing, you'll press in the lever, slowly rotate, feeding propane to the line, and going until you hear a spark. For our initial burn off, we recommend about 15 minutes at about 500 degrees. And after our initial burn off, it's time to close everything up. Once it's cooled to the touch, it's time to fold in our side tables, close the hood, firmly attach our latch, closing the swing arm, putting everything back in the locked position, putting our plunger pin into the locked position, and inserting our safety pin into our slam latch. And we're good to go. And if you're really out there wheeling, we do include a small hex wrench for tightening down the hood latch securely. Before transporting, be sure to remove your propane bottles. Time to throw some meat on this grill and show you how this thing really cooks. One thing that's really nice about the Forge 15 is that, as we will be using today, we're able to run a much warmer temp on one side than the other when needed. We're getting this started ahead of time just so we can finish it around the same time as our asparagus. Shooting for about a strong medium today. One thing that's nice about the tri-tip cut is you can kind of make everyone happy, I've found, with it. Obviously, from the way that it's shaped, you can shoot for medium, still have some medium rare to rare in it, along with a little bit of medium well. That's how I was roughly taught for cooking meat. When you poke meat, okay, this is raw, okay? And you can test this, raw, rare, medium rare, medium, well done. Getting a nice char here. We have uh, marinated in some black peppercorn and Szechuan pepper marinade we put together at the shop. Um, should come out nice and spicy. But we're gonna have the spice balancing out with the asparagus we've been marinating for the last couple of hours. Tri-tips just about there. We're gonna pull that in just a few minutes here. Let it rest. Always let your meat rest after you've cooked it to completion. Uh, it's like brisket, tri-tip, uh, I mean, a lot of different cuts. If you, if you were to cut with the grain, you're gonna have just like kind of a chewy mess. Um, that's why we go against. If you can see the 
grain texture here. Tri-tip especially, your grain's gonna change from left to right, and no two of them are alike. So with this one, we're gonna work our way through, starting about this angle, working our way to my left. Now that we're all done cooking, asparagus is ready. Tri-tip turned out just right. Uh, it's time to enjoy our meal and then get all packed away. And remember, it's not just a grill, it's adventure grilling. <laughs>